Hey, it's Llama here, and today I'm doing another useful tames taming video on Ark Survival Evolved. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tame a Hesperonis, and make sure you hang around because later in the video, I'll show you how to get it to lay golden eggs. If you enjoyed this video or find it useful, and you could like, comment, or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So, let's get started, shall we? Okay, here we go. Let's go and find ourselves a Hesperonis. So, the best place to find these guys, um, it, well, obviously, the best place to find these guys would be in the water. Um, I find the rivers, um, we're here on the island, so I find the rivers that connect uh, basically Green Ob down to the south uh, of the island are the best places to find them. Um, so I just simply run up and down these rivers and uh, you, you will eventually find one, you'll find what you're looking for. These rivers are also pretty plentiful with uh, fish as well. Um, which is essential for taming these guys because they need to be fed fish. Uh, you'll notice as well we've got on our shoulder the Ichthyornis, um, so feel free to check out my Ichthyornis taming video uh, because these are, uh, they're not essential but they're certainly beneficial when it comes to taming Hesperonis. They're well worth the effort spent um, because the fish that these guys will catch for you um, give you a taming buff uh, when you're taming the Hesperonis, which helps them tame quicker and more efficiently. Okay, here we go. What have we got? Whoop. Okay, quick hands. All right, let's have a look. Now, we need a female because we want golden eggs and only the females lay the golden eggs. Um, so let's just make sure that that's... Oh, every time I get the spyglass out, it ducks under the water. Got some sort of... Why does the AI work against me when it needs to? Uh, let's have a look. All right. Okay, yeah, that will do. We got ourselves a female. Brilliant. All right. So, we've got our Thyla on passive. We're going to whistle attack on these fish. I've set that Thyla to ignore group whistles, so it won't go and attack the fish itself. Uh, and then we throw out the, uh, the uh, Ichthyornis, and it goes and grabs the fish for us. And you see it's flying back. The fish is glowing gold. Uh, so that's the golden fish I was talking about before. Uh, and these are the best things for taming um, otters and also Hesperonis. Uh, these are the Colcanth, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, um, that, uh, that you find everywhere. I believe that the saber-toothed salmon give a, a higher taming um, than these, uh, but these are certainly more common and easier to find. So Let's feed that guy. So you saw as I swam up to her that uh, it came up and said, feed fish. Uh, much like taming an otter, you get the same thing. Uh, so just as you get close, you can uh, hit your action button for whatever you're on. I'm on an Xbox today, so it's, uh, it's the Y button. And uh, it will automatically feed the fish, and you'll see the taming go up. And now we grab another fish. So we'll just whistle attack on the fish. The Ichthyornis goes and gets it. These guys are brilliant for doing this. Like, this so beats swimming around with a crossbow underwater. Um, hitting fish and then dragging them backwards and forwards. Um, so not only do you get the golden fish buff from the Ichthyornis, but you also get uh, the ease of just standing on the shore and <laughs> getting it to go and get it for you. Uh, so we'll drag that one down and we will feed this one to our Hesperonis and improve our taming. Now you'll notice that this is a low level Hesperonis uh, and you can see the taming uh, is going up relatively slowly. Now I'd like to add that we're on an official PVE server, um, but this is an EVO weekend, so these are on three times rates. Um, so a, a taming these guys on one times is quite painful, you can imagine. Um, so we would have only had a third of that taming go up. There we go, fed again. Uh, and this is a low level. Um, so, uh, so yeah, taming on one times, uh, and certainly taming on one times without the golden fish is incredibly painful. Alright, next candidate. Now, let's see, what I'd like to do is, I'd like to look for two fish that are the same level, and we just used a 0.9 size. Now, the size is what gives you the taming uh, what increases the taming bar. So the bigger the fish, let's get some air, the bigger the fish, the more uh, the taming bar will go up when you feed it. 
Um, so I'm looking for another 0.9 that we can do with the crossbow, and then I can show you the difference between the golden fish that we just fed it and the. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Jay, seriously, no, nothing at all. Um, and so I would like to do a comparison between the two, and then I can show you the benefit of uh, using the golden fish. Uh, even on three times. Oh, breathe, breathe, Lama, breathe. Okay, oxygen is important. Let's not forget that. The other thing, uh, I guess, is you don't want to let, you don't want to leave these guys too long in between feeds. Um, otherwise, their taming effectiveness will go down. So we'll just, that wasn't a, a 0.9 fish, but we'll just get another fish to feed it, um, just to keep its taming trundling along uh, and then I think I saw two with 1.1 size so maybe we'll use those two um, let's just feed it this one first and then maybe we'll do the two 1.1s oh he's killed his own fish oh shit I dropped that oh I've picked up the wrong one no oh, no oh yet my golden fish <laughs> Oh, no. should we feed him that one? No. Let's just leave it there, let him eat it. Okay, so that, that, yeah, that was a bit of a fail. Um, so, you see I drag the fish to him, and then I let go of it, and then he ate it. So, that doesn't count for taming. Um, you have to actually physically feed them the fish. You have to be holding it when the feed fish prompt comes up for it to work. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can find... 1.1s. Oh, what's that? I heard battle music. What's going on there? Oh, we have a we have an Ichthyornis fighting our Ichthyornis. All right, let's grab the shotgun and hey, not bad. Hey, I'd like to think that. Every time I use the shotgun, I have that effect. But that was pretty. Uh, that was a pretty good shot for me. Normally, I'm. <laughs> I, I can't hit the side of a barn with a shotgun, so uh, that wasn't bad. All right, uh, let's carry on. So we were looking for 1.1 size. Let's see. Spyglass! Come on! Ooh, okay. That's it. Oh, brave, brave, brave! Uh, same, same mistake. Made the same mistake twice. There we go. There's our 1.1. Oh, let's see. Told you. Shotgun was a fluke. Alright, nice. Let's grab this guy. So this is what you would do if you didn't have a Hesperonis. As you can see, it's a little clunky. Uh, uh, not Hesperonis, the Ichthyornis. They are much better. So let's go and feed this guy this fish. Let's be a bit more careful. I don't want to drop this one and have him eat it anyway. Alright, there we go. So what did that do to the taming? So before we fed it the fish, it was at 41.8%. After we fed it the fish, it was at 45.9%. That's a 4.1% increase for a fish killed with a crossbow. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, okay. And what have we got? Let's see. No. Oh, there's another 1.1 here somewhere. I know, oh, there's a Sarko there. Okay, he's going to be a problem. Uh, let's let's get him over here with a crossbow and then kill him with the thyla. There we go. Hit. Uh, let's go. Oh, shit, let's get out of the water. Oh, out of the water. Oh, no, no. They move really quickly. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, and I'm drowning. Quick, get on the thyla. <laughs> oh, oh, how lucky was that? Come on. <laughs> All right, okay, back to it. <sighs> right, 1.1. 1 
1.1, come on, 1.1, 1 1.1, where are we, uh, there we go, oh, it's just disappeared out of sight, oh, bit of rollback, let's go, let's go, come on, Ichthyonis, if I can hit this thing with my, yep, there we go, go get it, is he going, is he getting it, I don't even know where he is, he's kind of vanished, Let's get out of the water, before we drain again, and, ah, there we go. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's on his way back. Oh, good job. Nice one, fella. All right, here we go. Here's, so this is our 1.1 golden fish doesn't look very golden does it yeah it is it's glowing gold uh, so now we're going to go and feed this to the Hesperonis and we can see the difference between this one and the last one that we fed all right so what have we got 65.2 percent versus 45.9 that's 19.3 percent versus 4.1 percent so that's a five times improvement from using golden fish versus regular fish. Well worth the effort, I would say. All right, why don't we carry on? Nice. Another golden fish. Gonna drop it? Gonna, oh, I heard it drop. Where is it? Where is it? Where'd he go? Oh, he, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he dropped it at my feet. That's my mistake. All right, let's go and fit. You can see where this Hesperonis has wandered off to. Can you imagine if I hadn't killed that psycho? This would be a huge issue for us now. So pays to clear the uh, uh, area uh, before you start any taming like this. All right, let's make sure we get the prompt. Feed fish. Feed fish, feed fish, come on. I don't want to drop it. Hey, there we go. Okay, nice. Good, good, good. We're almost there. Lots of fish to choose from. So, oh, oxygen, breathe, breathe. Get out of the water. Oh, okay. He's doing this thing. Let's get back to. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's get back to the. Sure. We'll have this guy tamed up in no time. A bit of health there. Nice. Mid-air fish drop. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go and feed it this one. I reckon we got another, maybe another two fish before this tames up. Uh, depending on how good they are. Shame we couldn't get any saber-toothed salmon in this area because um, they would uh, it would would have tamed up by now if we'd had those. Oh, I get nervous when I drop them. He's going to come and swipe them. There you go. These guys are so great for uh, doing the whole golden egg thing. But I have to say, if you're taming an otter. Um, you need to kill all the Hesperonis in the area because they will steal the fish. They are such a pain. Um, and they are quick. Now let's get some to eat. Got another golden fish coming back. Yeah, so if it's an otter that you're taming, uh, still use the Ichthyornis, get your golden glowing fish. That'll give you your taming effectiveness, but make sure you kill all the Hesperonis in the area first. Um, otherwise, uh, they will put pay to the fish that you're trying to use to tame the otter with. Uh, I'm not sure otters do the same thing. They do eat fish, but I've never had them steal fish from under me when I'm taming one of these. There we go, and we've got it. Nice. Shoulder pet, so we can just chuck him on our shoulder. And we're done. So let's head back to base. So there's our Hesperonis. Now we need to get some golden eggs. Now, golden eggs. You get golden eggs by uh, getting your Hesperonis to attack and consume fish. 
So they need to attack and consume five fish in a row, and then you bring them up onto land, and they will lay an egg. So what we need to do, similar to the Ichthyornis, uh, is I've got the Thyla on Ignore Group Whistles. Uh, we'll chuck the Hesperonis down there on the sand, find ourselves a fish, and we'll just get it to attack it. Uh, now we've got a piranha here. I usually take out the piranhas first because obviously they will attack me. <laughs> and I'd rather they didn't do that. So get him to attack that. Now, it's important. You see how he went? Uh, first he killed it. Uh, then he swam around a bit. Then he ate it. So it's really important that they consume the body of the fish as well. Um, now they have to do that five times before they're ready to lay an egg. And if that process gets interrupted, it effectively resets. Yeah. So you have to do five in a row and make sure that uh, not only do they kill it, but they consume it. So see, we whistle attack on that one. And let's go back and have a look. We can see, watch it kill it, bang, and then the body's still there. It'll swim around a couple of times and it'll go back and you'll hear that crunching sound, which means it's eaten it. There we go. All right, and on to the next fish. Bump. And just keep going. Basically, you keep doing that. You uh, do that with five fish. Uh, and then, so that's, yeah. Um, and then you can whistle them up on the shore, and they will lay an egg. Now, they won't always lay a golden egg. Uh, they have a chance to lay a golden egg. So they can also lay regular eggs as well. Um, I tend to find, uh, in my experience, that you only have to do this th maybe three, maximum of four times before they'll lay a golden egg. So it's not like you're here for hours doing it. Golden eggs aren't really all that hard to find, um, which is uh, which is a good thing. All right, I don't know why we've got the battle music going. Okay, so heard him do the thing. Let's um, get him up on the beach. Uh, okay, why am I not getting the arrow? What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. Uh, not getting the whistle. Okay, that one works. No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe he's too far away. Is it because he's too far away? Let's, uh... I don't know where he is. He's, uh... I sent him off to get a fish, and he sort of wandered off a little bit. Hello? Oh. Bit of trademark. Uh, official server lag there. Nice. Coming? Is he coming? Come on, fella! <whistles> Still not really a thing, is it? Did we not get his attention? Um, Alright, let's swim back out. Get a bit closer. Come on. Alright, that's got him this time. He should be following us now. Um, get him back to sand. Uh, that, that's my fault for sending him out too far, to be honest. Um, and there were fish closer, so I didn't really need to send him out that far. Uh, Alright, we're going to get... No, it's still not working. Uh, is he coming? He's coming. Here we go. Or she. She's coming. Come on, girl. Uh, so ho there we go, that's what I was looking for. So I'm hoping this doesn't interrupt the process. I don't think it will, because I don't think anything took its fish or attacked it in between. Um, so we'll just get it to come up on the shore. Let's whistle up there, out of the water. 
um, and you'll see it do this sort of it waddles up onto the shore and then it does this little animation where it kind of walks around in a bit of a circle and then it lays an egg gee that's a <laughs> she's a slow mover oh you know what she's probably encumbered with um, fish meat didn't think of that low level so the level there we go there's the animation so you can see regular egg not golden egg this time but that's okay so now we head back in and we just rinse and repeat so same thing attack that fish now uh, as I was about to say the level isn't really important for the Hesperonis the only thing you've got to make sure is that it's got enough health not to get killed by piranha uh, if the piranha attack it um, and its weight so as you can see it was moving really slowly and that's because it had eaten all that fish meat um, and it was a little bit weighed down so just means you've got to clear its inventory out all right next fish number two and we'll just keep doing this now the uh, Hesperonis eggs are awesome the golden eggs are awesome because um, they bring a few benefits one they can be used to make extraordinary t uh, kibble the highest tier of kibble um, although that's a bit of a waste to be honest because there's other eggs that you can use for that uh, the second thing is that uh, they will give you an XP buff similar to an explorer note um, that will uh, gain you extra XP while that buff is in place and I believe that also works with tames I haven't actually tested that but um, I did read somewhere that you can apply it to your tames as well and it'll give them an XP buff um, and then the last one and probably the most relevant right at the moment is it's one of the things on the list of cravings for the Rhiney Ognatha um, that giant bug that's just been introduced to the game so um, probably considered the hardest craving to satisfy um, and uh, and the reason for that is that uh, these eggs spoil fairly quickly um, so they're you know for starters you have to have a Hesperonis in order to get them you've got to go through this process to get them and then you can only store them for so long um, so uh, a lot of uh, in a lot of cases you know I'm hoping that this video will help people who are trying to uh, get themselves a Rhino um, and are struggling to uh, get the Hesperonis egg alright let's get this one up on the shore again that was a lot smoother than the last time uh, does the circle thing lays the egg and normal egg okay keep trying it's always good so it's good to do this in an area where there are a lot of fish um, as you can see because you think about it uh, like I said if you're doing sort of three or four goes at this to get a golden egg um, then we're talking 15 to 20 fish um, now that's if you do a perfect run uh, so if you mess it up somewhere along the line and you've got to start again you're going to want more than that so it's really important that you pick a place which is quite rich with fish um, and again this area that I've picked here uh, down uh, near the green knob uh, there's plenty of fish uh, down here and they respawn really quickly too so um, you just got to watch out for spinos and baryonyx uh, and piranhas obviously um, can also uh, be a bit of a problem alright watch him harvest the fish does a couple of circles boom, eat the fish nice next one motor through this fairly quickly uh, if um, if you're uninterrupted the other option obviously that you've got is you can chuck something on the uh, sand like a Rex or a Giga um, that if you do get attacked by something you can get back to to defend yourself um, or carry a crossbow or a shotgun or something like that uh, as well All right, next of circles goes back down so the process remains the same goes back down consumes the fish and then it counts remember if it doesn't consume the fish it doesn't count uh, get this one is this our last one I think this was our fifth wasn't it so bang eat the fish eat the fish eat the fish 
that's it. And let's bring her up on land. There we go. Up she goes. Whoop. And we got one. Golden egg. Look at that. Brilliant. That's the stuff. That's what we need. So these eggs will spoil fairly quickly in your inventory, um, but they'll last up to two days in a fridge. Uh, so that's definitely the best place to store them. Uh, the other thing that's worth noting is that if you transfer, like any egg, if you transfer this egg across servers, it will reset the spoil timer back um, to its original. Uh, but you can only do that once. Um, so if you're transferring it from, say, Gen 2 to the island, then you can take advantage of that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, please show your appreciation by liking or subscribing. And leave a comment if you can. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Lama, and I'm out of here.